Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. In the previous episode, we went to Shady Oasis and we finished up uh, everything that we could do there. We have one more challenge, or one more orb, and a few more gems to get, but it'll be a lot easier to finish once we have the Head Bash power up. Uh, so we're going to wait on that. We also have Fracture Hills. We have one orb to get there uh, that we need the Head Bash for. Um, so all we have left to do right now before we go take on Gulp is uh, Icy Speedway, the next Speedway. Uh, so I'm going to go talk to Moneybags, and then we're going to get right into it. I would love to let you enter this Speedway free of charge, Spyro. Love to. Unfortunately, the Speedway rules require me to charge a small fee. And of course, he asked for a small fee, even though this one's only 100 gems and not 400 like last time. I bet a quick dragon like you will win your money back in no time. Boop. Yes, now we have Icy Speedway unlocked. And he's actually kind of right. We will make our money back in no time because there's like three or four hundred gems to get in this area. Uh, so going through the Speedway and getting and finishing it, getting all, every, uh, every um, obstacle that's in your way um, will get you all your money back. So it's fine. It's all good. But yeah, as soon as we finish up this loading cutscene, we're going to go straight into it, uh, which is the one thing that's very interesting about Speedways is you immediately just start right away. So we're going to have to be quick on our feet. This is one of the more difficult ones, uh, just because, you know, it's quite a bit more challenging. There's a lot of stuff spread out everywhere, uh, so it's, it can be quite difficult to get. Oh, I don't know why that happened. Ooh, it's quite difficult to get everything in one go, in one turn. Uh, I don't think I have actually ever gotten everything in one turn before. But, uh, you know, I've come close quite a few times. Ooh. What's up, sea monsters? Time to flame these guys out. And then we got some more weird manly ballerinas. Oh, dang it, I hit the water. See? It's hard because everything is so weirdly placed. Um... That it's really difficult to uh, remember where everything is. So we got snowmobilers, we got half of them. Um, half of them are up top, um, hang gliding. Half of them are below on snowmobiles. Uh, we got all the arches, that's the, probably the easiest one. Uh, the skaters are all on those stray icebergs, and the serpents are all in the water. So uh, we're going to try this guy again. <laughs> I don't know why I say BAM so much. BAM! Like, uh, well, you know what, we're gonna do this now. It's an easy way to take out these guys if you charge. Oh, dang it. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna make this one either. Okay, we're just going to give up and retry that one, because that was not the greatest idea. I'm gonna take my phone off my desk so it doesn't vibrate, and hopefully you guys didn't hear the vibrations. I think you can also flame their just the ropes and it still hits them, I think. Or unless you hit their ropes and it uh, leaves them in the sky, um, but they stay wherever you flame them last. Uh, so it might be a little bit easier to, uh, to get them from there if they're in one spot instead of moving around in a circle. But we're going to see if we can get this guy all in one try again. Ding that guy. Okay, so I gotta remember there's two guys down here, and then we gotta go up and then immediately back down. There he is. Whoosh. I love the sound effects for uh, the skaters. They just makes a big sock punch right in the face. That should be... Oh, we're missing one. Oh, there he is. <laughs> There's the last guy. And then we got all these guys to get. These guys can be, ooh, a little difficult if you're flying, because you fly, it seems like you fly a, quite a bit faster. Oh, sweet, and I got the skill point for that, so we don't even need to do it again. All right. Yeah, we beat it in 108. The skill point for this one is to beat it in under 115. Um, it's Icy and Metro Speedway, which are in uh, Autumn Plains, the world we're in right now. Um, that one is to beat it in 115, and then 
the first speedway, speedway we did, um, whatever the ocean speedway I think it was, that one is to be did in 110, and then we have one more speedway in the last world, which is also 110. Um, and I'm right now, I don't think we can get the hidden orb in this one, because I'm pretty sure we need the head bash, but just to be safe, I'm going to check again, because it's right here. Oh, we can get it, okay. So we don't need the head bash for this one, uh, we just need to hit the uh, igloo and we can talk to Hunter. Bob Spyro, looks like you're ready for a more serious challenge. How about a little paragliding? You're not afraid of heights, are you? Okay, okay, so now we gotta do some paragliding with Hunter. This one is actually really fun, but it's also quite annoying. Um... Great! I'll tow you behind my snowmobile and you maneuver through the rings. Don't miss any or we'll have to start over. Exactly, so we gotta, we gotta get all the rings. It's very, very weird because it's just side to side that you have to move through, but sometimes you'll have to move, you know, left, right, left, right, um, and then there'll be at an angle, so you have to kind of tap it. Um... Mm. I'll show you what it looks like when we get into it. Uh, see, it looks very, very weird. I'm not sure <laughs> why it's designed to look like this. Uh, but you pretty much just have to go through 50 different rings uh, while on his snowmobile, even though he's on the water with it. So I'm guessing it's more of a jet ski than a snowmobile. But, you know, I'll let, I'll let Hunter have his way um, with whatever he's doing. He seems to be having fun, and we're getting orbs for it. Ooh. So it's okay. You know, look, look at this. Oh, we're a pro paraglider. Ooh. I don't think I've ever beaten this one on the first shot either. But it looks like I just did. Oh, yeah, look at that. Way to go, Spyro. You're even better than I am. Well, no, I think I, I think we all already knew that, that we were better than you, uh, Hunter. But it's okay. So we got the uh, secret orb for that, and then we did the speedway, and we got the skill point for beating it in under 115. So we're actually done that level right away. Uh, I thought it would take a little bit longer trying to get the, trying to see how fast I could beat it in under 115 or 110 or whatever. But it actually, that was actually super simple. Um, so now we're done everything. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have all 14 talismans, your guidebook can break the lock on the door and you can fight Gulp. Are you ready? You'll have to jump down the hole in the floor to get to where Ripto and Gulp are waiting. I can help you out a little bit. I tamed a few pterodactyls from Skelos Badlands. They'll be dropping objects that you can use to fight Gulp. Okay, so yeah, so now our next boss is Gulp and his overlook. I'm, I'm pretty sure the overlook in, in that, that sentence is it's overlooking the next world. Because uh, it is a bit of an open area. There's windows out. Uh, I'll show, uh, when, when we get into the boss battle, I'll show you. Um, there are actually two skill points for this boss fight. Um, I'm going to try to get the one right away. Um, that one is to hit Ripto while you're fighting Gulp. Which you have to be about halfway into the battle... Uh, when you do that, and then there's also another one, of course, just like when you fought Crush, um, we have to beat him without getting hit, uh, which this in, for this one, it's a lot more difficult, and, and, and fighting Ripto is even more difficult. Um, it's incredibly challenging, but uh, I'm not going to worry about getting hit. I'm just going to try to hit Ripto and get that skill point, and then, you know, once I get hit, I will, you know, kill myself, respawn, and then try to get through it without getting hit. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. But let's jump down and see what's a, see what awaits us. Gulp, we've finally made Avalar ours. <laughs> You've earned a special reward. Ow. Gulp, what is it, boy? Oh, the fairy. Here you go. Gah! <laughs> You singed my cape. Dragon, you are really starting to get on my nerves. Say goodbye, flame brim. Go. Lunch time. Go. Finish him off and you can have all the fairies you can eat. 
I'm going to enjoy this. All right, so this is Gulp. Uh, apparently Ripto's second in command. Um, he actually doesn't fight you until you start moving. So you can sit here and flame a bunch, but as soon as you move, then he starts coming after you. Uh, so first he's going to start off with a body slam. And he's got some weird guns, which they don't show in the actual uh, cutscene. But these pterodactyls will drop you items uh, that you're supposed to use to hit him with. So we got uh, barrels to start off with, and then eventually they'll start dropping bombs. All right, and then he can also shoot you as well. He can shoot you with these weird electric balls. Um, he will also try to eat um, a bunch of these things, like the oh, got him again, uh, like the bombs and the barrels. Once you hit him a few times, he'll start trying to eat them, and those will actually give him different abilities. Um, he'll like fart out green gas or burp fire um, What else what else I think there are also rockets. I'm pretty sure yeah, there we go We also got some rockets once we get these rockets though. This is when you're going to want to Hopefully shoot him with one. Let's see. Oh Come on that missed are you kidding me man? Yeah, let's grab let's just grab one right away. Is he gonna okay? He's gonna try to shoot me again we're just gonna dodge him. Okay, then he's gonna roar. So we're gonna aim and shoot. Ooh, gotcha. Still haven't hit Ripto yet. I'm not sure why it's not working. I'm just gonna wait till he does something and then aim at him from here. Oh, got hit. Ouch. And apparently I still haven't hit him. Okay, this is messed up, man. Give me one of these rockets. Flop down. I'm gonna wait till he does something else. Come on. Do something. I've already been hit. I just need him to... Uh, to do something. Okay, he's gonna try to shoot me. Okay, missed. Okay, it's on me. Hopefully. Nope, he's gonna shoot me again. I just gotta bait him into attacking and then waiting until he... Waiting until he does something. There, I'll shoot it a little bit lower. There we go. Now we got him. Okay, so now we got that extra life. And now that we got that, we're going to actually just kill ourselves. So we can restart with, uh, you know, without taking any damage. And then we're going to go fight him again. See, and it's quite easy to not get hit. You just have to, uh, except for his, his lightning gun can hit you a decent amount. It's, it can be a little tricky to dodge that one well because the shots are very weird boop right in the face Wee. Um, but you know sometimes if you go one way and then quickly turn around and go the other way his gun will miss uh, so that's probably about the best option see you can do that and it will completely miss you there you go have a bomb and then after he uh, after you hit him with something so you can't cheat and uh, hit him a bunch of times as soon as he hits the ground after he jumps up in the air uh, after getting hit he destroys all items around you or all items that are on the ground right now dropped by these pterodactyls um, so so he's bam gotcha we ooh, that was close that almost hit me I'm not sure if that can hurt you if a rocket blows up after being hit by him but you might be able to. Oh, so, see now here we go. We get the uh, instance of him. Nope, I hit myself. Dang it! I knew I shouldn't have gone for the rocket, but uh, but uh, I wanted to try it anyway. Okay, so we got close. We got him down. I think one more health bar. Uh, so we're just gonna have to be a little bit more conservative with our our attacks. You just have to wait until he, you know, gets into a good spot to be hit and then we're okay what's he gonna do what's he gonna do you gonna charge me yep there you go ding and then the barrel explodes okay hopefully my mic is sounding a lot better than uh than usual i did buy a microphone arm 
or a, what's it called, a boom arm or something like that, um, online. I think it was on Amazon or eBay or something. Oh, he almost hit me with that. Uh, I bought it on, I think it was Amazon that I bought this, uh, this microphone arm uh, that I can attach my Blue Yeti microphone to. Um, and it's super useful. It makes, uh, to me, it makes it sound a little bit clearer. Dang it, that was a complete failure. Um, it seems to be working a lot better than, than usual, because it's not sitting on my desk. Come on. That should have hit him. Ooh, ooh, that was close. Here, let me just grab this really quick, and then shoot you with it. There we go. Okay, so we got him down to about where he was before. Now he's going to start trying to eat uh, some of the stuff that gets dropped down. Ooh, yes! I hit that and got out of the way of his uh, explosion before. Dang it, come on, that was not fair. I hit the wall. Uh, now we got to end our life. <laughs> Flop over and start this again. If it takes, I'm going to try a few more times and then uh, I'm going to cut to, you know, where I have them down to a lot lower health. Because uh, the battle doesn't really change too much once you hit him down enough that he starts eating stuff. Um, that's about, that's pretty much the whole battle is, you know, trying to hit him before he hits you with his gun. Or with a... Uh, nope, that, yeah, I totally realized it could take damage there. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to get him, I'm going to cut into uh, where I get him down to about half or so. I'm going to start it up again, and then uh, let's see if we can actually beat him without getting hit. Uh, so I will see you guys in just a few seconds. Okay, so he's down to about half health now. Oop. Okay, so he's about half health. I think I pretty much just said that already. Uh, we just need to bear with it for a few more seconds. I am. Got him again. Now he's at three, so we need three more hits. Come on, man. Okay, there's a rocket there. There's a bomb right here. Ha, ah, he was going to go for that bomb. Good thing I'm going to pick... Rockets are pretty much the most reliable weapon to use in here because it's just a single shot and you're good to go. Whereas the bombs, you have to flame them and they move forward a bit. And then the uh, barrels, you have to charge into them, which are pretty easy, but if you're too close, it will still hurt you. Oh, gotcha. Sucker, it's going to hit you. Yeah, it is. Booyah. Okay, so we need one more hit. I haven't been hit yet. It's been about a handful of tries now. Uh... Out of all, th well, he is the second. Actually, it makes more sense. Oh, did that hit him? Nope. Um, it makes more sense um, in this game that, you know, the bosses get substantially difficult over time. Because, um, you know, Crush is the second hardest boss. Uh, Ripto being the hardest because he's just a pain. Because he's got three phases and uh, he's very, very annoying. And there we go. We beat him without getting hit. And he does a little dance, and hits the ground. Gulp defeated, baby. Now I'll let you guys watch the cutscene. Spyro, you did it! Whoa! Alora, where'd you come from? I was just outside the castle in Autumn Plains. The castle is now free again. There's no sign of Ripto. And since you've been around, the creatures of Avalar are finally starting to get along. Since you've done so much for Avalar, and since I know you really miss being on vacation, we really wanted to do something nice for you. It's not much, but we hope you like it. Wow, this is great. Aren't you going to join me? Uh, no. I'd like to, but I've got to go check on the professor in the winter tundra. He's still trying to fix the super portal so he can send you home. Oh, that sounds interesting. I think I'll just hang out here for a while and soak up a few rays. Hey, where'd Laura go? I better follow her. And just like that, Spiral is back at it again. 
I think I've finally come up with a way to access the Dragon Worlds from the Super Portal. This power crystal should give us the extra boost that we need. Just a few more calculations to set it up. I think I have it. Excellent! Everything is finally ready. We're going to need a lot more orbs, but with the power crystal boosting it, the Super Portal should work again. So, you thought you had gotten rid of me. Well, I'm afraid not. I persuaded that fat bear money bags to sell me a few bombs. Quick, the power crystal. Don't even try it, book boy, or you'll be the world's smartest pile of ashes. <laughs> this is just what I need for a new scepter. Hunter, do something quick. Uh, hey, give that back. Well, I tried. You little fools! After I destroy you all with my new scepter, I'm going to rename this place Riptonia! All right, so there you go. You guys have seen those cutscenes. Ripto is still alive, and now he has taken up inhabitants inside the Winter Tundra Castle. Kicked Moneybags out, even though Moneybags didn't really deserve to be there. He kicked him out anyway. Uh, so we have finished most of the worlds in Autumn Plains. Uh, so in the next episode, we're actually not going to do anything around here yet in, Auto in uh, Winter winter tundra and that's what it's called um we're actually gonna go or we're actually gonna learn the head bash first then we're gonna go back um finish up any challenges that we needed to do uh that in, now required the head bash so we have 100 percent at all the game uh, all of the worlds in the previous area then we're gonna come back here and start tackling all of the plethora of portals and worlds that we need to explore. So, in the meantime, this is Super Poseidon signing out, signing out, signing out. So I'll catch you guys a little bit later.